my whole purpose in life has been to help people deal with fear. And of course, the, the way that I connect to that is connecting to my own fear, to recognize in moments like jumping out of airplanes in the middle of nowhere over the mountains <laughs> is uh, this acute sense of fear, you know, right? So the, the feeling that I currently right now, if I don't do certain things, I'm going to get hurt, I'm going to get killed. Uh, but the other aspect that I've noticed within my own fear is that there's a cold version of it where I'm not in uh, a torrent of kinetic energy. I'm perfectly safe in this moment, but there's a sort of hypothetical uh, existential risk might be money related, could be relationship related, could be career related or, or prestige or anything that you, you might feel like you, you're going to lose something that uh, you're not willing to lose. Either way, whether it's hot or cold, uh, I find that, that the beginning of the shift out of the fear mentality is to stop thought, to, to step out of the thought process that has led us to feel scared, right? To feel threatened, to feel like we're powerless to solve our problems, powerless to, to get ourselves out of, out of danger or away from uh, the, the consequence that we're not willing to kind of pay the price for. So that, I think, is one of the hardest parts because stepping out of thought, when that thought is right in your face, the, the conclusion that, that you need to act, you need to, to attack, you know, you got to go on the retreat, you have to escape. All of those instincts that are built into us have inherently, there's an escape mechanism that's available to us that it's very easy to forget. That even in a moment where you're under canopy and you've got the kinetic energy going on, you've got, you've got the responsibility of this altitude and you've got to put yourself to rest somewhere uh, safely, there is the opportunity to have a micro-level escape, like a mini meditation, where you take the deep breath and you calm yourself down and you relax and you let go of the conclusions that you've initially drawn the conclusions that have led you uh, into the experience of fear. And, of course, this uh, is a skill that we all have to cultivate. And by that I mean uh, the longer meditations that we do, the, whether it's yoga or a long walk in the forest or your paddle in your kayak or you just simply get out of your house, you know, and, and just go for a walk and clear your thoughts, leave your phone at home or at least off, and be here in this moment, letting go of thoughts, focusing on your breathing, getting accustomed to the silence of your mind. And if we do this on a regular basis, uh, most of us have experienced this at some point in, their, in our lives where we, we escape thought and we escaped identity and ego and, and the threatenable uh, stance of I am and therefore I can be injured, I can be killed, I can be threatened. If you step out of that and you just be here now and you breathe and you relax and naturally what starts to happen is it's like you've been holding the cork underwater and it starts to float again. Your, your happiness, your positive perspective, your sense of power over your life, all of that starts to flow back in when we start to breathe and be here in this moment and let go of the urgency. Uh, and people say, well, okay, how am I going to do that when I'm flying down a mountain, <laughs> you know, or I'm under, you know, under canopy looking around and I can't find a place to land. How am I going to bring that back in? Well, through repetitive exposure through deliberate honing of your skill of letting go of thought to step out of your initial thought process. Uh, it allows you to, to bring that feeling in really quite quickly. And skydivers learn how to do this. And of course, maybe not at the beginning. New skydivers feel scared most of the time, if not the entire experience, until they have the relief of being back on the ground. And that euphoria that you get in, in the relief from danger uh, sets up a repeating pattern where you want it more. You want to go and do it again. But what if you get that relief during the jump? And that is what I'm trying to, to nurture and, and describe the best that I can to, in a kinetic moment, 
to disengage, to create an internal locus of control over your emotional experience, over your thought process, to, to sort of zoom up out of your body and look at it from an, a more objective perspective, uh, from a higher perspective. To me, this is where we lift up out of our ego consciousness into the higher self, which is not, uh, it's not injurable. <laughs> it's not threatenable. It is a larger view of you. So what if in the next moment that you find yourself kind of caught up, what if you're to take a deep breath? What if you're to zoom back out to reactivate your connection with silence and from there allow back in the bigger version of you, the one that sees the solutions? What if you did that right now? <laughs> 